Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, today we're going to do a long video covering everything you need to know about the perks. I'm going to take into consideration types of builds, must-have perks, and useless perks. Um, don't get offended if I say a perk that you love is useless. This is of course just my opinion, and I don't know everything about perks of course, but I'm going to give you all the knowledge that I know. So let's get into it. Now like I said, um, there are perk cards that you're going to want to focus on for a build. So as you can see, I have a heavy gunner or a build going here. So just wanted to point out, you will have to dedicate about nine points. Um, some people don't do the full nine points, but I do. Um, for heavy gunners, pistols, semi-automatic rifles, fully automatic rifles, fully automatic pistols, there are types of builds that you will have. And like I said, you will probably have to dedicate nine perks to it. And like I said, Heavy Gunners is this build right here, and I have nine perks on it, as you can see. So just throwing that out there, you might want to um, eventually start figuring out what kind of build you want to be. I know there's a lot of perks as I'm showing here, and this is why I'm making this video, and I'm going to go into this as well as I can. I didn't want to make the video any longer than it already is, so I'm sorry if I go through these a little quick, but I'm going to give you my best opinion on them all. So anyway, here's number one we're going to start with is Action Boy. Now this is a great perk to have if you're looking to have a lot of extra action points. Definitely good for commando builds and vats builds, stealth builds I would say. Um, Adamanium Skeleton, not a very useful one, I'm just going to skip over that. Adrenaline is like a must have perk for me. I pretty much have it on every character. It does more damage every kill you get. It keeps stacking up to five. Um, all night long, not a perk I would really use. Hunger and Thirst isn't a big deal anymore. Um, ammo Smith, definitely a perk I would have when you're crafting ammo. Ammo Factory, I think negates it. I'm not 100% sure. I still use it when I'm making ammo. We'll get into that later. Animal Fiend, not a perk that I would be using. Aqua Boy, not a perk I would be using. Armor is a must-have perk, not one I would have on all the time, but it's definitely good to have in your back pocket to put on if you're deciding to uh, put mods on your armor. You will need to have this leveled up to put on certain things. Awareness, a, a perk card that I'm not too familiar with. I'm guessing this is good for vats and critical and stealth builds. Um, Bandolier. Definitely a must-have perk, I think, if you want to carry lots of ammo. I think most people use Bandolier. Um, it's almost like a must-have at level 2. Uh, Barbarian, um, not a perk that I would use, to be honest, even with a melee build. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Basher, not really the greatest perk unless you're using, you know, a minigun. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, batteries include it can be a very good perk if you're a power armor user. This does include fusion cores. So I can carry up to 100 fusion cores on with me and use energy weapons. And that, w and that does weigh you down a bit, those two things. Um, bear arms, another perk card I do use on my heavy gunner builds. If you want to carry lots of heavy guns, it's a great perk card. Um, better criticals, uh, again for critical builds, I don't know much about them, but I would say this is a must-have if you're going to do a critical type uh, stealth build. Uh, Slugger is another one of those perks that you would have to dedicate 9 to if you're a two-handed melee build. So that would be, you know, Master Slugger, uh, Heavy Slugger, and Slugger I would assume. Blocker, another great perk to have on if you're not a power armor build. If you're a power armor build, I wouldn't say you would have to have that, but if you're bloodied, or even without a power armor build, I would highly recommend Blocker. Uh, Bloody Mess, um, almost a must-have perk for the extra damage it does. Um, I have this on every character. Um, I think I'm going to show you. Nope, maybe not. But I do have it on this character. Um, Bodyguards, not one that I would use. Born Survivor is a good perk, but you can get um, mods for this on armor, so it's not a necessity. I use it on my... Um, on my power armor build. It does come in handy when I forget I'm low health sometimes and it just it saves you sometimes. It can be very useful. Uh, bullet shield, I've tested this one. It, does, it doesn't really seem to do too much. Not one I would uh, use. There's so many better perks under strength. Can do, not a perk that I would use. Cannibal, um, I don't think you would ever use this perk anymore. If you're a carnivore, you're pretty much good to go. Um, 
yeah, cap collector. If you want to collect collect more cap caps um, from the stash boxes, but I wouldn't use it. Chemfiend is another good one. It'll make uh, chems last longer. Um, very good for intelligence builds if you're ranking up fast, like for Barry Mentats. They'll last 10 minutes rather than 5. Very useful at times. Uh, Chemist, another great one to have if you're crafting stim packs, rat away, or disease cures. This is a must perk to have in your back pocket if you are deciding to craft those uh, chems eventually. Which I have done in the past. I haven't done recently, but I have done in the past. Uh, chem resistant, not one I would really use. To be honest. <laughs> um, class freak is a must have perk um, if you're going to have mutations. Um, it is uh, lowers the negative effects of the mutations. Each mutation has a negative effect, and some of them are worse than others, but having this on is a must if you're going to have mutations, in my opinion. <laughs> we have to get back to it here. I was going to take this part out, but whatever. Um, so anyway, Class Freak. Cola Nut, not one I would really use. Uh, Nuka Cola products I've never really had a super useful or a use for, but maybe you do. Um, Commando, this is another one of those nine spots you're going to want to take up if you do decide to be a fully automatic rifle build, which I highly recommend over the semi-automatic uh, rifleman build. Uh, to be honest, that rifleman build can be buffed a little bit. It is not very powerful. Concentrated Fire can be good for um, crippling uh, Scorch Beast and even the Queen, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Not a perk that I use, but it can be useful. Um, if you're going to be building a friend's house or building one of your own, this may be a good perk to have on. It'll cost you less materials for building. Maybe have it in your back pocket, not one I would have on all the time. Uh, Covert Operative, if you're going to do a sneak or stealth build, this is definitely a must perk card. Not too familiar with those builds, in my opinion. So I can't really take, or tell you too much more about it. Um, uh, this would probably be good for a pistol build. Again, I'm not too knowledgeable of pistol builds. They are a little underwhelming in my opinion. So yeah, not, not the greatest, I guess, unless you're a pistol build. Critical Savvy, obviously a great card if you're going to be doing a critical build. Pretty much a must-have if you're going to be doing a critical build. Uh, Curator is another great perk card if you're going to be leveling it up or leveling up or using bobbleheads in general. It makes them last twice as long, two hours rather than one. Um, Dead Man Sprinting, not the greatest perk. Wouldn't use it for. I have no use for it for anything. And Demolition Expert, a great perk card to have if you're going to be using explosives or explosive effects on your weapons. It does make them a little bit more powerful. Um, yeah, great perk card if you want a little bit of extra damage. This is why people go for the explosive effect on guns, I think, a lot, is because of this perk card adding that little bit extra of damage. Uh, dodgy, uh, I've tried it. I didn't really notice it working too well, to be honest. I wouldn't really use that perk. Dromedary, food and, or sorry, well, drinks, I should say, aren't really a, you know, a thing to worry about anymore. It's so easy to get purified water. Um, dry Nurse, not one I would use. Um, EMT, not one I would use. Um, Enforcer is going to be next if you're a shotgun build. Definitely a good one to have, maybe, if you can afford to put it on. Of course, you only have so many perk points, and that's kind of the thing you kind of got to take into consideration as well when getting these cards. Um, Escape Artist. Um, I've heard this card's broken, and I notice it works very well for stealth. So if you're going to be a stealth build, definitely going to want this perk card. It really helps. Like, it just seems like nothing notices you, unless you're, like, right in their face. Um, Evasive I have used as well. I don't really notice it works too well. I think... Serendipity is my favorite. I know people like Ricochet, but I think Serendipity is one of the better ones for avoiding damage, in my opinion. Exterminator, not too much of a useful perk card. Like, you're not going to really want to do extra damage against bugs. Maybe there's a certain thing you're going to do, and you might want to use this perk card, but not a necessity, that's for sure. Field Surgeon, um, if you're a lower level, like a bloody build, um, this is a great perk card because it will you know, heal you very fast. You don't have a lot of time to think when you have a bloody build. Fire in the hole, just level one is great to have. I wouldn't really go past level one if you're going to be throwing a lot of grenades. Um, you don't really need to worry about distance in my opinion, but that arc for the level one is great. Um, fireproof, if you're going to be having a build that's not in a power armor, highly recommend fireproof. It helps with explosions as well, which is very convenient for a bloody build. An explosion, a super mutant suicider will kill you instantly without that. 
um, and it will save you from them. Um, a first aid uh, perk. I do use this perk card sometimes, but it depends what kind of build you are. If you need a lot of uh, healing from a stim pack, or maybe just a little, or maybe you're using supers or super stim packs, so you might not need it at all. Um, fix it good is definitely um, one you want to have in your back pocket for fixing armor or power armor. Definitely want to have this one maxed out in your back pocket for when you are repairing your stuff. Uh, four leaf clover again it. It probably helps with a critical build or a VATS commando stealth type build. Again, I'm not too familiar with those builds. If someone in the comments or anyone in the comments wants to go into a little bit more depth about those builds, that would be great. Um, Friendly Fire is a fun perk card as well. You can actually use a flamethrower to heal your friends and robots at events like Fnash or launching a nuke for the, nu uh, for the launch prep. This will heal the robots and even if you don't have any ammo, you can go up to the bots and bash them and it will heal their health. Um, I've used this on Fnash a lot and I've used it while launching a nuke to repair the robots. Not a necessity but it's nice to definitely have in your back pocket. Uh, Ghoulish is just like completely useless. Um, if someone wants to argue with me in the comments have at it. <laughs> Don't like that perk. I've used it. I find it useless. Gladiator, another one of those perks for one-handed melee builds, right? There's two different types of melee builds, two-handeds and one-handeds. That would be another nine perks you would want to dedicate if you're doing that build. Uh, Glow Sight, I think, is an underrated perk card. If you're doing Radiation Rumble or fighting ghouls in a nuke zone, this can be a very useful perk card because those ghouls can be tanky if you don't have, like, a very overpowered weapon or if you don't want to kill yourself with your weapon and use a lower powered one. That is a good one to do. Um, goat legs, not the greatest perk in my opinion. If you don't have a power armor, then you can just carry one in your back pocket if you feel like you're gonna be jumping off stuff, or just find another way around. Um, not, not something I would invest in. Um, of course, if you're in a power armor, you can jump from any height and live. Uh, this is a perk card I used earlier on in my earlier levelings. It helped with my food, but definitely not a necessity. Um, Green Thumb, great perk card. It's a must-have to have in your back pocket for collecting uh, vegetables or flora. And trust me, you're going to want to use this perk card. This is a must-have for a Fallout player, is to have Green Thumb in your back pocket. Uh, Grenadier, explosives, or it ups the radius of the explosives. Again, if you're a grenade build, this might be useful to you. Um, if you're leveling up in West Tech, this would definitely be useful to you. Um, another one that is probably good for a VATS or a Stealth Commando type build. Again, I don't know too much about those builds. Maybe this perk card's really good for you. I would assume it is, but maybe not a necessity. Uh, Ground Pounder is one that I use for my rifle builds. It uh, helps reload your guns 10% faster and helps with the hip fire accuracy. It's just really nice to reload your guns fast. Um, highly recommend it. Um, here's another one of those perk cards that is dedicated to a build. You would have to get all three of them leveled up, in my opinion. For automatic pistols, you would use Gorilla. There is one for semi-automatic. Gun Fu is one I've heard about recently. I haven't tried it yet, but I heard this is a great perk card. And what it does is when you're done getting a kill, you can swap to the next target and do 10% more damage. I'm not sure how much it stacks, but if you're a VATS build, I would assume this is a must. Um, gun Runner, if you're like, you're probably not going to end up using a pistol and running speed isn't going to be a problem with using a pistol. Not a perk I would use. Uh, Gunslinger, like we were mentioning earlier, this is um, the perk card you would use if you're going to be using semi-automatic guns. Or semi-automatic uh, semi pistols. So again, 9 points for that. Um, Gunsmith is pretty much like a necessity in my opinion. You may not use, you know, guns, you maybe you're a melee build or whatever, but just having this perk card is great so you can put certain mods on guns and so your guns don't break as fast as well. Um, I would say, you know, 80% of people, maybe 90% of people in the game use guns. So th this is almost a must have if you're using guns. Um, not a great perk hydro fix like you know generates 50 percent less thirst when using chems like purified water is so easy to get um these perks are pretty much useless in my opinion lock picking and master hacker i'm going to get into that when we get into legendary perks because if you didn't know there is a legendary perk that basically combines um all of these uh hacker and lock picking but we'll get into that in a bit so pretty much useless. Do not get hacker, do not get expert, unless you absolutely can't find another way to get the legendary perk. Um, happy camper, 
you know, not really too useful unless you're going to be building a lot. Um, yeah, just have food at your camp and purified water at your camp. Not worth a perk card. Um, another one I wouldn't really use. Like, I don't know why you would want to have your luck increased, really. Maybe for something, but, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. I wouldn't use that one. Not a, not a popular one, for sure. Hard Bargain, definitely another perk you want to have in your back pocket when going to vendors. Of course, this doesn't work at player vendors, I'd like to point out. But it does work at the train station vendors and buying serums, especially. This is a must-have to have so you can get a discount on buying stuff. Um, healing Hands, not another perk that I would use. Um, yeah, players you revive are cured of all rads. Like, that that might make somebody mad if they're a bloody build, actually. So, definitely wouldn't be using that one. It's just not useful enough. Um, again, this build that I'm using is a heavy gunner build. You can see the perk cards are only one, but I leveled them all up three to um, a total of nine and dedicated that to my heavy gunner build. So again, these are perk cards that would be de or dedicated to a heavy gunner build. There is no semi-automatic heavy gunner, just wanted to point that out. Um, gain gradual health regeneration to camp, it's just not useful. You could get the healing factor serum if you really want. Um, and it'll do that everywhere when you're not in battle, not just at home, so kind of useless. Home defense, um, I don't recommend putting turrets in your camp, to be honest. Just repair stuff as it breaks, or fight the enemies that are there. They take up so much space, and yeah, j j just not a thing I would do. Um, I know it's for crafting them and disarming them as well, but just, yeah, not a useful perk. Incisor is a great perk to have on for um, chainsaw and auto axe builds. I highly recommend it for it. You almost don't even need melee perk cards. This incisor is almost more than enough if you're just going around casually. Um, injector players you revive, plus six action points, regen for, like, it's just not useful enough. Inspirational, um, a great perk card to have at the beginning, or if you're leveling up, it's pretty much on every one of my builds. Definitely a must to have in your back pocket, at least. Um, I pretty much have it on all the time, so I get that little bit of extra XP, and make sure you join a team. It's just so beneficial now. Um, Ironclad, another perk card you will definitely want if you don't have a power armor type build. You just want to, you know be in regular armor, I would definitely recommend this. It helps, you know, give you a little bit more energy and damage resistance. Um, Iron Fist, like, are you really gonna go around punching stuff? I, I doubt it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this perk. <laughs> Iron Stomach, another perk I wouldn't use, like, just make disease cures or buy disease cures or antibiotics. Um, yeah, there's other stuff you can have too, like buffs on armor and whatnot that'll help you to stop from catching diseases. Um, I've heard this one isn't too bad, but not one I've really tested. Um, I feel like there's so many other better perks under Lux to use Junk Shield, but maybe it's a perk card you would use. Um, it, like I said, this is all, you know, up to you, what you find useful. You need to determine what you're doing to pick the perk cards. Um, Lead Belly, not a useful perk. <laughs> Uh, licensed Plumber, if, you know, Pipe is Life, then maybe this is the perk card for you. I've never used it or had a use for it. Unfortunately, Pipe weapons are a little underwhelming, and I would love to see a buff for them, for all my Pipe is Life fans out there. Uh, Life Giver can be a very good perk um, to have on if you're a full health build. Um, I don't know if I would use it if I'm a bloody build. I know it will up that percentage a bit, but if you're a bloody build, you don't need it. If you're going to be a full health power armor build and you really want to be having that extra tank to you, then Life Giver is probably one for you. Um, you know, how many traps do you really come across? <laughs> uh, lock and Load is a great perk to have on if you're a heavy gunner build. Of course, heavy guns load extremely slow, or reload extremely slow, so definitely a good one to have on for helping them to reload. Uh, Lone Wanderer, I find this perk useless now. It used to be good, but now I think everybody should be joining teams. Make sure you join a team. There's no need for that card. Uh, long shot. This one might be good for rifles, but unfortunately I think there are better ones to use under perception rather than long shot. Maybe you would want this perk card, but if I was a rifle build, I know I have a rifle build and I never use this uh, perk card. So um, I could be wrong. Like I said, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about some of your builds. Uh, luck of the draw. I see a lot of people using this perk card too as well. I really don't think it's worth it because it doesn't, you know... Um, 
fix your gun to full health. It only fixes a portion of it. And it's the same with Lucky Break, and I'm, I just don't find that very useful, to be honest. Just, uh, you know, throw on some other perks and just make it 200%, which I'm going to get into if I haven't already. Uh, Magnetic Personality, another one, you know, not very useful. Makeshift Warrior, I wanted to suggest if you're using the Auto Axe or the Chainsaw, they break very fast. Maybe throw this on and it will slow that down. It definitely is noticeable. I use this a lot when I'm running through West Tech with an Auto Axe, because you can run through there like a couple times and it's almost ready to break, so that'll stop it. Uh, Marathoner, you might use it, you might not. It, you have to not be in a power armor. I don't really find a problem with uh, AP when I'm not in a power armor build, or a rifle build. Martial Artist, a great perk to have maybe if you're a melee build. Um, you can swing weapons faster. I notice it doesn't work on all melee weapons, unfortunately, but definitely a perk card I've used and it's been useful. Uh, Mr. Sandman, additional sneak damage with silenced weapons. I would think that is a must with a sneak uh, critical build for sure. Uh, Modern Renegade, if you're using pistols again, which I wouldn't recommend, um, maybe this is a perk card that you would use. Th this is a type of perk card that's under every um, type of weapon build. There's a perk card that will, you know, maybe up the hip fire or a chance to cripple. Uh, moving Target, uh, not one that I've used. Um, you know, you're usually not sprinting when you're firing at people, so that's when you're going to take the most damage. Uh, Munchie Resistance, not a perk card that I would use. Um, just wouldn't use it. <laughs> no need to get into it. Mysterious save, Savior and Mysterious Stranger, maybe they're good in critical or VATS type builds. I am, again, not too familiar with those builds, unfortunately. Um, I'm working on it. I'm trying to learn, but um, maybe someone in the comments can say if they're useful or not. I've never had a use for them, to be honest. Uh, mystery meat, you know, stim packs may generate edible meat tissue, like high rads improve the chance, like, you don't need that. Uh, natural resistance, you know, better chance of not getting a disease, like, it, not very useful. Just disease cures and antibiotics. Uh, nerd rage is another must have perk if you're a bloody build. That's why you see people with such low health and so many rads, because they're taking advantage of the fact that this perk card gives you 20% more health. 20% damage resistance, 10% more damage, and 15% more AP regen. So this only works when you're at 20% health, and that's why you see people with such low health. Or whatever you have the perk card. I think it might go up to 30 if I'm not mistaken. Um, Night Eyes, maybe it would be good for a sneak build. Night Person, definitely a great perk card for leveling up. Of course it only works at night, but... It definitely makes a notice or a difference in the XP that you're getting from the super mutants that I noticed at West Tech at nighttime. So definitely useful. Um, if you're a sneak attack, you know, melee build, then definitely Ninja would be for you. I don't know too much about that perk. Used to use this card, but I really find there's enough health to go around that you don't need that. And it's only at night. One gun army, like we were talking about, this is another one of these perk cards that's pretty much under every uh, gun type build or weapon type build. Um, it has the chance to stagger and cripple a limb. Um, this can be useful for um, crippling the queen and making her land or a scorch beast. Great perk card. Um, may or may not want to use it. Ordnance Express, if you're doing a grenade build, this is a must. Or if you're farming XP at uh, West Tech with grenades, you're definitely going to want to have this on you because you don't want to be carrying, you know, a low amount of grenades. You probably want to have a lot of them. Grenades go pretty quick, you know, not right now because of the Thirst Sapper. I know, trust me, but yeah, in the future it might be good. Uh, Butcher's Bounty, if you're a carnivore build, this is a must-have because if you're going to be making Tasty Squirrel Stew or Broiled Scorch Beast Brain, um, Broiled Scorch Beast Brain especially, this will make it for the chance of two of them to spawn rather than one. And fighting Scorch Beast Brain can be hard enough, so definitely a perk card you want to have on. Overly generous, not, you know, a very useful perk card in my opinion. Portable power, you know, maybe you want your power armor parts to weigh a little bit less, but if they're all on a chassis, they only weigh 10 pounds anyway, so probably not very useful. Packing light if your pistols maybe, but they don't weigh a lot anyway, so... Yeah, probably wouldn't use it. Maybe have this in your back pocket if you are carrying a lot of junk and you want to just throw that on to get home. But, you know, it's pretty easy to find a place to scrap places. So, yeah. Another useless perk, in my opinion, like, 
Are you really going to go running into enemies with your power armor? Like, I don't think it works too well. It could. I'm sure Turtle found a way to make it work. <laughs> but not a useful perk that I would use. Uh, power Patcher. If you're going to be repairing power armors or using a power armor, I highly recommend this. Um, repairing power armor or building power armor can be extremely expensive with um, components. So definitely a good perk card to have on. Whew, this is a long video. I love you guys. If you're still watching, you're amazing. Um, Party Boy, not an extremely, you know, good perk card unless you're, you know, getting drunk or using chems. Or sorry, it would be using alcohol. Not not, not a very good one. Uh, pharmacist, you know, not the greatest. You know, there's so much rat away to go around. Parma Pharma, not the greatest perk. Philanthropist, not the greatest one to use. Like, I'm sure you could find a use for it, but, like, it's not one you would want to have on all the time. Um, photosynthetic, I've tried this perk. It really does very little. It's not even worth it in my opinion. Like I said, healing factor serum is one that you would want to have if you're worried about stim packs. Um, again, these perk cards are useless in my opinion. When we get into the legendary perk cards, I'm going to show you that there's one legendary perk card that covers that and the hacking. Um, Power Smith. If you're going to be crafting, you know, mods on your power armor, you're going to need that. Uh, power user. Highly recommend this, actually, for power armor builds. I notice it makes my fusion cores last very long, and I only do level 2. I don't do level 3, but maybe you want to do level 1 or level 3. That would be up to you. I do recommend that, though. It helps conserve your uh, fusion cores. Professional drinker, you know, I, <laughs> I don't have a use for these. Even alcohol in general, I just don't. Um, definitely this would be good for a critical type VATS build for sure. Like again, like I said before, I really don't know too much about those builds. Would love to hear about it in the comments. Again, revive players with liquor. Like, just stim pack them. <laughs> Gain a 6% chance to reload your clip when it's empty. Uh, I wouldn't bother. Radical. Amazing perk, actually. If you're going to be a bloody build, it will help so much with um, extra carry weight. And if you're a melee build, then it's almost a must. Because, as you know, each point to strength helps with melee damage. So, definitely a must-have perk on if you're a bloody build. Especially if you're a bloody melee build. Uh, Rad Resistance. Um, again, there's a legendary perk card that pretty much makes this one useless. I wouldn't bother with it. The same with Rad Sponge. Now, if you can't get the legendary perk cards then maybe this would be the perk for you. But like I said, I just find them useless at this point. Refractor can be a good one, um, especially if you're running silos a lot. It, it helps with the turrets. But then again, you can turn the turrets off and you know maybe you're not fighting enemies with energy damage all the time. So it can be and it can't be. Like again, that's your decision. Rejuvenate it is a very good perk, I think, too, to have on if you're doing like a foodie type health build. Um, the benefits from being fully fed will give you more HP, more health points, and more agility points. So definitely a good one to have, and that perk card will make that even more. Uh, Revenant. Um, you know, bonus two minutes after you revive somebody. Bonus damage. Like, you know, it's just so random I wouldn't bother with it. Ricochet. I know people love this perk. I prefer Serendipity myself, but it's a good perk to have under luck if you're, you know, not a power armor build. Um, again, here's the Master Rifles. This is part of um, a build you would have to dedicate nine perks to again. And like I said, I highly recommend Commando over the Rifleman, unfortunately. Most weapons you can make semi-automatic and fully automatic for the rifles. Not all of them, unfortunately, but I highly recommend Commando. Uh, robotics Expert. I don't have a use for that one. <laughs> Scattershot. If you're a shotgun build, this definitely might be good for you. You know, shotguns don't have the greatest range. That'll help with it. Um, the Science Perks. If you have energy weapons, this is definitely going to be perk cards that you will want to use. Um, it helps with crafting certain types of energy weapons and energy ammo, I think. Could be wrong about the ammo, but I would have one of each of these just in your back pocket. Not using them, but I find I, it, I come across I have to use them a lot, to be honest. Uh, Scrapper, a must-have perk, I would say, and have it on all the time. It's the difference between having, you know, getting a thousand steel from West Tech in 10 minutes or 20 minutes, I would say, and the difference between not having it on and getting, you know, like two or three hundred. Like, it's such a big difference. You, you want to have this one on, trust me. Unless you have all the junk in the world, you know, accumulate it, then maybe take it off. But definitely for an earlier player, you're going to want this. 
Highly recommend Scrapper. Scrounger, not so efficient. You know, ammo, you can pretty much craft so much of it at this point. You can buy it at vendors. You don't need it. Uh, Secret Agent, I've heard, is very good for PvP. I myself don't know too much about PvP, so maybe if you're into that, that might be for you. And here's Serendipity. I love this perk card. While below 30%, you gain a 15% chance. Even if you're not a, a bloody build, um, unfortunately it doesn't work with power armor, but if you're not a bloody build, even if you get low, this could save your butt, right? Um, yeah, definitely highly recommend Serendipity if you're not a power armor build. Um, very good perk card to have under luck. I, it helps me all the time. Um, I would pick it over Ricochet, but that's just my opinion. Again, a shotgunner build that you would have to dedicate nine perks towards. Um, there is no semi-automatic or fully automatic shotgun uh, perk cards, just the master and expert and regular shotgun. Uh, Skeet Shooter, another good one as well for shotguns. Probably recommended if you can fit it on there. Um, this could be useful to you, but like I said, hunger and thirst isn't really a big issue anymore. So, yeah, if you're looking for stuff to put under endurance, then maybe. Um, definitely for a commando sneak type build, I would assume you would want sneak on. Um, again, like I said, you have to figure out what type of build you're going to have to have these perk cards. I'm just giving you my input and what they do and they're useful for. This, this is definitely more of a beginner's type video. Um, snipers I don't really find are useful in the game. Maybe you use a scope on, a, on an AK, maybe I'm wrong and this will be useful for you, but not a necessity. Solar powered, not a great perk. Spiritual healer, just not a necessity. Would definitely, yeah, stay away from it, don't need it. Um, squad maneuvers, um, definitely not a necessity, but I love this perk card. I always get people asking me like, how are you moving so fast? Squad maneuvers. <laughs> and once again, make sure you are on a team. At this point in Fallout 76, it's like a must to join a team. Do not go lone wolf in Fallout 76. Join a team. Uh, stabilized. If you're a power armor build using heavy guns, this is pretty much um, a must-have perk. Um, I notice a huge difference because I have two heavy gunner builds, one without power armor and one with it. And when I'm using the one without power armor and I don't have this perk card on, I really notice... The spread difference with the the 50 cal especially so great perk to have on if you're that type of build starts genes is definitely a must-have perk unless you're not using mutations but if you're a seasoned fallout player you're more than likely using mutations i would assume you are and this will help them from or sorry it'll help you from losing your mutations um i have it on every character i would say most people do you don't want to lose your mutations when you get them and right away will cause you to lose them so that stops that from happening um, another perk card that is just not really of use you, use, you can use Healing Factor Serum, and it'll do an even better job than that. No point in even having this on. I don't know why I highlighted it for so long. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> Strange in Numbers, um, definitely a great perk card to have on. Almost a must-have if you have uh, mutations on. And what this will do is make your mutations better. Like if you have marsupial and you have this on and you're part of a team, you will actually jump higher and have a little extra carry weight because that's the effects of the marsupial serum. Just giving that as an example. Uh, Strongback I do use on uh, one of my builds. Definitely not a necessity, um, but maybe you can find room for it. I kind of found I just found room for it. You know what I mean? It wasn't a must, but I was like, hey, I got a couple extra points under strength. You know, I'll throw that on. Um, sturdy frame, I wouldn't really worry about it unless you have super heavy armor and you're not a power armor build. Um, definitely not a necessity. Um, just get used to, you know, being about 100 to 150 pounds in my opinion, and that's usually with your ammo and your armor. I wouldn't bother with it. Uh, Sunkist, not another one I would bother with either. Um, super duper is definitely a must-have perk if you're crafting anything this has a chance to double it so if you're crafting anything you're gonna want this perk card on now of course you don't want it on all the time it's one of those ones you're just gonna want to have in your back pocket and put it on when you need it as you can see i do not have it on i'll usually take off bloody mess and then put super duper on but just wanted to point out i don't have it on all the time you just want to have it on when you're crafting stuff i've tried suppressor as well i find it doesn't really work very well so 
I wouldn't really use that one. Tank Killer, a great perk to have um, if you're using pistols or rifles. I didn't really know it was for pistols, but I use this for my rifle build. It has a chance to um, uh, stagger enemies and it ignores their armor, which can be useful. But unless you have an anti-armor weapon, then it's not as useful. Team Medic, a great perk card to have if uh, you want to be a medic type build. Say you got a bunch of noobs that are joining events and they're your friends or whatever. Throw on this perk card and every time you stim pack and they're close to you, they will get the benefits of that stim pack depending on how much you have this leveled up. Up to 80%, I think. I could be wrong. Tenderizer is a must-have perk for me. I wouldn't say it is a must-have perk, but if you want to do extra damage, it's definitely good for that. It um, gives you basically more damage for 10 seconds after your initial attack. And of course, most enemies are going to die within 10 seconds. So it's great to have on, in my opinion. Thirst Quencher, again, you know, drinks and food really aren't a problem anymore. Like, this was probably more useful back in the day. Uh, food and drink weights. Um, I don't really carry a lot on me. I just pick up what I need along the way and use it pretty much. So don't really need through hiker, but it can be useful. Uh, with a, what's it called, a mule build, if you're going that way. Uh, full charge, like we're not running into enemies with our power armors, like people just really aren't doing that. Uh, Tormentor, not, not a perk card I would suggest either, it's just not useful enough. A lot of these perk cards I'm just skipping over, they just don't really have a major use. Uh, Traveling Pharmacy, I highly recommend having one... Um, at least because if you're like me, I like to carry lots of stim packs and rat away just to make sure I have it or to give to friends. This will significantly reduce the weight if you have a lot. If you're not carrying a lot, then I don't recommend it. Vaccinate it, another perk card I wouldn't recommend. It just it, it is not useful enough. The same with Bloodsucker, the same with Wasteland Whisperer. Not the most useful perks, unfortunately. You know, um, maybe you want to pacify a, um, uh, an enemy to have it your camp which you can do um then this perk would be useful for to you i wouldn't have it on all the time though um weapon artesian is definitely a must-have perk for all builds um unless you're a melee build i guess no no this works for melee weapons too but yeah if you're repairing your weapons this will bring it to 200 percent rather than 100 percent when fully leveled up so definitely want to have it in your back pocket and throw it on when you're leveling up weapons white knight is definitely a must if you're not a power armor build i have it on every build that is not a power armor and what it does is it makes your armor break a little slower and trust me armor breaks slower unless it's power armor regular armor breaks slow i think traveling agent um not a huge fan of it like you get enough caps to be honest and it, it's not really that much and there's so many free places to travel to so you can get close to an area and then you know go to where you want and save money if you really want i would avoid travel agent wrecking ball i would avoid anti-epidemic last laugh like they're just not useful enough unfortunately um if you're looking for magazines if you're looking for bobbleheads then these two perks can be great i can't pronounce that so you're just gonna have to read it percepti bobble i can but panapictographic I probably said that wrong. But yeah, magazines and leader bobbleheads are useful for. Um, fortune Finder, just not useful enough. Um, good with salt. Again, if you're carrying a lot of food on you, this could be useful to you. It isn't to me. Like I said, I just kind of grab and go. But maybe one to have if you're carrying a lot of food on you and you don't want it to spoil. I just use a refrigerator, honestly, if I don't want my food to spoil, which you can get in the game. Um, again, here's another one that you would dedicate nine points to. This is for a two-handed melee build. Remember, there's two-handed melee perk cards and there's one-handed or melee perk cards. So make sure you have the right one on if you're doing a melee build. Uh, Woodchucker, if you want to go around collecting a lot of wood, then that would be a great perk card to have on for sure. And then again, the archers are dedicated to an archer build if you're going to go that route, crossbow or an arrow or a bow, I should say. And yeah, that pretty much covers all those perks. I'm sorry if I ran through them too fast. This video is already like three quarters of an hour. So I just, yeah, I just wanted to give my opinion on the main perk cards. I definitely covered the main perk cards that you want to be of interest of. And now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Um, these are probably the more useful ones in my opinion. And what these legendary perk cards do is they give you up to five extra points underneath um, your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It'll give you five extra points in your menu right here. So 
say I didn't have my intelligence perk card, legendary perk card on, then I would be missing five points. Just keep in mind too, this doesn't work with charisma if you're looking to share. It does work to add more perk cards, but it doesn't work to share. So just keep that in mind. It, it's not a big deal. I wouldn't really worry about that. Um, if you if you are sharing stuff, then you're probably already aware of that. But just keep in mind that all of these do give you extra points to put perk cards on. Very useful perks. As you can see, I have five of them on. Um, so let's get into the other ones here. There is Ammo Factory. It's a must-have, in my opinion. Produce 150% more rounds when crafting ammunition. Um, wouldn't have it on all the time. It's one you want in your back pocket to throw on when you're making ammo. It does cost one perk point to take it off and put it back on, but that's only two perk points. Like, you're not going to be making ammo too often, and I suggest making as much as possible when you do. Um, Blood Sacrifice... Not one that I've ever had a useful for. Brawling, chemist, collateral damage. Never really had a useful f or a use for these. Um, detonation, contagion. Um, great perk to have if you're a grenade user. If you're going to be uh, running West Tech, throwing grenades and leveling up. Definitely a must-have for that build, in my opinion. Um, electric absorption, just not useful enough, in my opinion. Not something you'd want to rely on. The same thing with Exploding Palm. And of course, too, I you know, maybe I'm, I'm wrong about some people's builds. Maybe you found some uses for them. Just let me know in the comments. I would love to hear. But I just wanted to point out the more useful ones that I thought. And again, you know, Exploding Palm, not too useful. Fair Flung Fireworks, not too useful to me. Follow Through, not too useful for me. I just feel that there's so many better things that you could put on other than, you know, some of these. Uh, Funky Duds is an amazing perk card to have on if you're a bloody build or you're doing some of the daily ops where there's lots of poison. Um, if you're a bloody build, you can get poisoned very fast to death, so I highly recommend Funky Duds if you're going to go the, the bloodied route or just to have in your back pocket for some daily ops. Definitely a useful perk card. Hack and Slash... I've never really found a useful or a use for. Maybe, you know, let me know in the comments if you have. I'd love to hear it. I'm sure I'm wrong about more than a couple of these. Uh, Master Infiltrator. Now, this is the perk card that basically makes lockpicking and hacking useless. Each one of these unlocks a level 1 rank for each of those. And all the way up to level 3. And, yeah, it's it's just a must-have if you're going to be lockpicking. Um... Don't use uh, lockpicking or um, hacker. Make sure you, you go towards the master infiltrator. Work on leveling up rather than leveling up uh, lockpicking and hacker. They're just they're they're just pretty much obsolete in my opinion. You shouldn't be using them. Uh, power armor reboot definitely not one that I've ever had a use for. Unfortunately, yeah, just wouldn't recommend it. My friend tried it once and. I, I never heard it revive him. <laughs> so, and I know he had it on for a while. But yeah. Uh, power Sprinter, I think, is a very underrated one. If you're a power armor build, this helps so much, man. Like, you can just sprint forever. It's amazing. Not to mention it helps with VATs and just generally getting around. Like, power armors can be somewhat slow. And that perk card really helps. Uh, Retribution, definitely not another perk card that I've had a lot of use for. Sizzling Style, again, maybe, you know, you have a use for that one. Fire Damage, I've never really had much of a problem with. I've never used it and never had a problem, you know, with Fire Damage. Uh, Survival Shortcut, another one, you know, not too much use. Unfortunately, there's a lot of useless legendary perk cards, in my opinion. Uh, taking One for the Team is another good one if you're going to be fighting boss enemies. Um, really good for that. Um, just regular enemies, uh, it's not too much. I would only have this one in your back pocket if you're gonna, you know, take out a queen with a couple of friends or fight Earl or the Ultra Sight Titan. But it's not bad to have on too. It does do a bit of extra damage, but the enemy needs to attack you first. So it's better on tanky enemies. Uh, What's Rad's absolutely amazing perk. Um, I said uh, there was two perks there that helped with Rad's. You don't even need them if you have this perk on, and it's again once you can throw in your, it's one you can throw in your back pocket and use when you need it. If you want to go into a nuke zone, if you want to um, help collect the ore and the radiation rumble, what's rads is an amazing perk card. Highly recommend, especially for early builds. And that's pretty much it, everybody. I tried to cover everything I could. I'm sure I missed some stuff. 
And like, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments your opinions. Maybe I missed some things. I'm sure I did in the 45 minutes of this video, but just wanted to cover the major perks. And you know, this, like I said, is more for beginners. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps you. And uh, looking forward to seeing you guys later in the comments and on stream. Take care, everybody.